But there's also a new coffee option in Hamilton County where lattes are being served out of a renovated camper. And Brooke Slyer's there this morning giving us a sneak peek. So Brooke, we have to know, where is this at? Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, right now I'm in Dahlgren, but the really cool thing about Holy Ground Coffee is that it can be seen throughout Hamilton County and throughout Southern Illinois. So joining me first this morning is Lynn Belangi. She's one of the co-owners here. So go ahead and tell me a little bit about your idea for this because we're at the Dahlgren Elementary School and this is where you're a teacher. So now you're doing this as well. Yeah, that's a great question. You know, honestly, I'm not even sure how uh, our real how this became a reality for us. But my son and I had always enjoyed just the atmosphere of a coffee shop, and so it kind of always been a dream of ours. And then um, my coworker Pandora was going to retire in a year, and so she began to talk about it. And it was kind of a joke back and forth with the two of us, just something we did for fun, like what we're going to do when we really retire. And then all of a sudden, before we knew it, we had us a camper. Her husband and son-in-law were gutting it, and now we're on the road. And I will tell you, honest to goodness, even though it's made our summer way different than right. for a teacher, it's something that we've just really loved and appreciated. So, Well, I share your love of coffee, especially being a morning news person. So I also want to talk to Pandora over here because you guys put in some elbow grease and we have the pictures to show that. Yes, uh, a lot of work, blood, sweat, and tears went into mm -hmm. this. Now, uh, my husband, Jim, and my son-in-law, Chris, get a big shout out. Um, they were the men behind the scenes and kind of made our dreams become a reality. So uh, we might have an idea, and then next week we might have changed that idea a little bit, and they just kind of rolled with it. So uh, they really did do a, a great job for, for us on the camper. Absolutely. It looks like that you guys bought it this way. This is the way that it was made to be. So you guys have done a great job on the renovations. But of course, we want to talk about the coffee. So we'll be talking about that a little later on in the show. But for now, I'm going to toss it back to you in the studio. All right. Thanks for that, Brooke. Well, Paducah Hospital wants to make sure patients can get to their appointments. Mercy Health Lords Hospital says it's now giving out gas cards. And these gift certificates are specifically for patients with cancer. Oncology Director John Montville says they don't want the high cost of gas to be the reason someone can't make it to their appointment. We're always trying to figure out to help eliminate some of those burdens. Uh, started to realize that since we cover such a wide geographic area, people travel long distances to come in to us for care. What could we do to help alleviate that at a time of high gas prices? Now, the cards are made possible through several organizations, including the American Cancer Society Five Star and Mercy Health Foundation. It's glad to see them getting some help there to get to those appointments. That's right, and uh, you know, the drought monitor is updated every Thursday, so we got an update yesterday. This is actually last week's drought, uh, drought monitor, and uh, you can see much of the area really in 